This is a tutorial on how to watermark a photo for listing syndication using a website called PicMonkey.com. So we'll get started real quick here. Make sure you have a photo of the property that you'd like to watermark already available and downloaded on your PC. What you're going to want to do is either use the front photo or if the home has a really appealing great room, patio, something that you want to feature that might be a little different and set it apart in the search results, what you can do is simply use that photo. It doesn't matter which photo you use in the KWLS in the primary position so that it appears just like you see on the Century 21 website. You have the Keller Williams agents listing information here. Um, you can abandon a lot of the rules that you use in normals. So go to a website called PicMonkey.com, P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y, and what you're going to want to do is go ahead and upload your photo. It's very simple to do. You just click edit a photo, your house sample, and it will go ahead and upload for you. So here's my sample picture of my house and literally in about five minutes I can create a custom look to this and watermark it. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the overlays toolbar which is found right here. I'm going to click on geometric and in this example I'm going to go ahead and use a rectangle. You can make the rectangle as big or as small as you want. You don't want to lose the integrity of the photo but by the same token you want to make sure it's large enough so that it's easily viewed across these websites. Now this photo once added to the KWLS will populate all websites except for cleveland.com and the local broker websites. Everything else will show this photo. So I'm simply going to add the box and then move the slider here over to fade at about 50% so it gives me that nice translucent look. And then I move back over here to the text. Click on text here. And I'm going to strongly recommend that you use a, a font that is not too scrolly, scripty, or the lines are too thin because then it's very hard to read. You want something that's a little bit hefty and that will show up. I'm going to choose this font for now. Add text. Okay, And you can add anything to this that you want. Um, depending on how much you want to play with this, you can even add things like open house dates, if you're on a team, the team member that's going to be um, holding it, whatever you want. And you can add quite a bit of text here, but just for our example to keep it simple, I just added a couple of words. I'm going to go in and I'm going to change the color of the text, maybe. And I want the color of the text to be white. It'll show up the vest because now you've got that reverse on there. Now. Once I've added all the information I want on there, and I would definitely include your name, your phone number, and even potentially your website or a call to action for them to call you for a private showing. After you do that, go back to the overlay menu again, and this time click on your own. And this is where you can add a logo or if your team has a logo that you use, whatever you want. Now this doesn't have to abide by any logo standard, so it could be as big or as small as you want. The red logo looks really, really good on these. Um, as you can see, this is the black logo. So you just start layering things on top. You could put your photo here, but I'm not sure how well that translates. Anything that's very simple, clean, and strong graphically will come across the best. And once you're done, you simply go up here to save, click save, and download a copy to your desktop. And then you have it. In our next tutorial, we'll show you how to add it to the KWLS.